Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to find out the indices for the direction B in this figure. As you can see, this is the direction B. And before that video, I have already calculated the indices for direction A. So let's quickly get started with direction B. And we can see where the tail is and where the head is. So here is the tail and here is the head. So this identification is really important and now let's get started with step one the step one is to define the coordinate system and we can see the coordinate system is predefined and we'll be doing um, following the fall the same coordinate system this is the positive x-axis this is the positive y-axis and this is the positive z-axis and this point is actually the origin so you should keep in mind that what is the coordinate system that we'll be using so this is the origin that we'll be working with now the step two is to find out the tail coordinates all right and we know that where is the tail so here is the tail now let's make up you know make a path to reach that point and for me first of all what i'm gonna do is to move at this point all right so we are wishing to take the shortest possible path so i'm gonna move from origin one unit in positive y direction okay i moved one unit along positive y direction from one corner of the unit cell to the other corner of the unit cell okay i move one unit now i want to move here okay you can see what i'm pointing so here so from this point onward i'll move one unit along positive z direction to the other corner of the unit cell so i moved one unit along z direction now from this point onwards we can see that the head is uh, sorry tail is located at this position i need to move there and they have already told us that this position is 2 by 3 so we'll be using that information and uh, and we can see that uh, this path is smaller and this path is greater and uh, 2 by 3 is actually a greater number than this path could cover 2 by 3 is greater than half so it means 2 by 3 is actually a point that covers this bigger di distance okay how you are supposed to know whether 2 by 3 is this distance or this distance okay you can figure it out by comparing it uh, to what half is okay half is here and 2 by 3 is greater than half so this greater length is actually 2 by 3 not the smaller one so in that way you can have a judgment all right so from this point onwards we'll move 2 by 3 units to reach the tail point so we move 2 by 3 units along positive x direction to reach the tail point so it's one for y one for z and two by three for x and the tail coordinates are one oh, sorry it's two by three for x first we'll write the x coordinate then y coordinate which is one then z coordinate which is one as well these are the tail coordinates so let's calculate the step three is to calculate the head coordinates okay so we can see where the head is located it's located at this position it was in the you know encountered it while moving towards the tail so it's really easy as well we'll move one unit along positive y direction we reached this point to the other corner of the unit cell and we moved one unit then from this point onward we'll move half unit along z direction positive z direction to reach the head point and we don't need to move along x direction all right we already reached the head point so we are at it so zero motion along x direction and a half was already given but it was also obvious from the figure that this is actually half because uh, this whole length from this corner to this corner makes up one and if you divide it into half this is actually the half point so e e even if the coordinates they they don't mention the coordinates you can have a good judgment based on you know the comparisons so this is the where the head is located and the head coordinates are actually we moved zero unit along x then we moved one unit along y and then half unit along z direction in order to reach the head point as we are done with step three now let's move towards the step four as we have calculated the tail coordinates and head coordinates now the step four is to subtract the tail coordinates from head coordinates so this is the operation head minus tail coordinates now let's do that for that purpose i'm going to draw a table here we'll do the subtraction for x coordinates here we'll do the subtraction for y coordinates and here for z the first is for x second y third z now let's do the subtraction first we'll have the head coordinate 0 minus 2 by 3 which is equals to minus 2 by 3 simply then 1 minus 1 
that is equals to 0 then 1 by 2 minus 1 that is equals to minus 1 by 2 you can take the LCM so we got minus 2 by 3 0 and minus 1 by 2 and we can see there are fractions involved and we want to remove these fractions the step 5 is to remove fractions if we have any and clearly we can see that we have some fractions in here and we can remove the fraction by multiplying the LCM of denominator with each of these numbers okay so we can see what what we have in denominator we can do this in rough work so we have 3 in denominator then we have 2 in this denominator and there is no denominator in here so these, these are the denominators and if we take the LCM 3 ones are 3 2 ones are 2 so it's 3 twos are 6 6 is the LCM we will multiply 6 with each of these indices 6 with each of these numbers that we obtained uh, that we obtained above so we can continue on this table like that it's minus 2 by 3 multiplied by 6 0 multiplied by 6 minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 6 so 3 ones are and 3 twos are 2 twos are 4 minus 4 0 3 2 ones are into 3 so it's minus 3 in here so these are the numbers that we have got and we can see they are in least integer form because they cannot be reduced further okay if we divide them by 3 there is a fraction involved in that case like if you divide them by 3 it's like that this is reduced but this is not reduced it's a fraction so not allowed and there is not a single number that can divide them further so that is it these are the final indices and hence four bar we put bar our numbers when they are negative zero then three bar first we'll write the x index then y index and then z index or the miller indices of direction b direction b that is it for this video we'll be doing the direction c in next video and the link to direction a will be in comment section and keep watching